What's up, Gemini? This is Soul. And Gemini, we're going to take a quick look at the uh, weekend for you, Thanksgiving weekend, that is, uh, starting the 24th and ending on the 27th, regarding love and relationships. This is that one time that I always uh, mentioned that I'll do a weekly, a uh, focus on, you know, a weekly love reading for you, and I chose the Thanksgiving weekend. You know, even though I did put up the uh, energies for the week, this here is just primarily focusing on those uh, relationships. Okay, so I'm using the uh, Victorian Romantic Tarot deck, and we're going to make this real quick because I'm only drawing five cards, reading the shadow, shadow energy for you, Gemini, and then just drawing uh, some cards from the uh, Status Oracle deck just to complement your reading. So this is for Gemini suns, moons, risings, venuses, singles, couples, and Geminis who are into same-sex loving energy. So let's begin. Um, with your messages again, uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving <laughs> once again. Messages for Gemini. What's going on? Three cuts. All right, so Gemini, we're going to begin with the first message, and it opens up with the um, Magician, Major Arcana, okay, two facets to the Magician, Manifestation. If you are the uh, single um, Gemini and, you know, you are wanting or desiring to connect with the new relationships and you're, you know, into throwing in affirmations, doing mantras, saying prayers, if you're not, then, you know, you might want to try that because it doesn't hurt. But just make sure that you're staying in alignment with yourself, with the universe, because the universe oftentimes tests us to see if what we really want and desire to bring into our life is what we really want. OK, so that's about manifestation. And it also could be for the uh, twins who are already in established relationships. You can still be praying um, for something to turn around in your relationship or they're, you know, wanting some sort of improvement. Uh, within a relationship, however this situation may uh, be for you. You can still throw those affirmations, mantras, and prayers out there to the universe. And they usually, you know, respond, uh, the universe usually responds accordingly. But like I said before, if you just throw them out there and then you're not staying in alignment to what you want, then, you know, that's where the test comes in. The negative side is the, I always read the magician as an actual person. So we got to be careful about strangers. We got to be careful about people that we're already in established relationships with. Now, because uh, normally I just, you know, refrain from saying uh, this energy here relates to, um, you know, doing the general and the romantic relationships that I've done in the past narcissistic and sociopathic um, you know behaviors here these people are va emotional vampires they just extract they are um, you know people who just uh, they don't care about your feelings they only care about what they can get from you so be discerning some of you may be already dealing with these individuals all right and that's a tough call but you know you know exactly what's going on especially if you're in a relationship where all you seem to be doing is giving and, and you're not getting a return. That's a narcissist. OK, also um, the strangers, someone is false and there's false energy that could be around you. So just be very, very mindful of that. That's the magician, Major Arcana. Following that, we have the Six of Cups. Somebody from your past here, Gemini, is thinking about you highly on an emotional level. Uh, so you may hear from them during this week. Someone that you, uh, this is usually people that you know. And so it could be a long time friend um, who may have decided that, you know, even though the years have come between you, that there was some sort of interest all along. But now maybe for them, it's coming to the surface. Could be somebody that you already had an establishment with, but then, you know, things didn't work out well. Then this person could be still thinking about you. So, um they are thinking of you highly on an emotional level. Six of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Following that is the Judgment card. Okay, Judgment, Major Arcana. Something that's uh, hidden comes to the light. This is a card of spiritual epiphany, spiritual awakening. Um, could be spiritual development. Uh, attach all that energy to your uh, relationships. Something that you may discover about yourself, uh, Gemini, that you didn't know before. And then um, something that you discover about someone else that you didn't know before. Again, attach that to your relationships. Uh, so what else can I say about the judgment card? Yes, during this week, though, making sure that whether you're in an established relationship or not, that you are not being judgmental, uh, harsh, or criticizing um, that partner or yourself. And you definitely don't want to, um, you know, pass that energy off to 
uh, other people because this is the card of karma. Okay, always talk about the judgment card being the card of karma. What you give, you're going to get back. So always stay positive, always treat pe people positive, and you'll get that in return. So Major Arcana, the judgment card. Up next is the King of Pentacles. Well, I regard the King of Pentacles as someone coming in for um, Gemini if you are single, but you could already be in a relationship when someone has already got pocket change, they're, you know, they're wealthy, uh, maybe doing something very uh, lucrative in terms of the career or the line of work that they have chosen. Um, this person is uh, reliable, st definitely stable, uh, dependable, good with money. So you could meet that person if you are single, but you could already be, uh, like I said before, an established relationship. They like the finer things in life, okay? But they're willing to share all of that energy with you. So there is somebody coming in um, for Gemini, and it may be through this weekend. The kings and queens, no matter what element shows up, represents relationships of all kinds, ages, sexes, and genders. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represents that king of pentacles. Next up is the Ace of Wands. There's an aspect of good news when it is attached to your relationship that's coming in. It mirrors the uh, magician, but then you take that energy and attach it to the positive side. Maybe the affirmations and the mantras and the prayers are finally, you know, starting to kick in or the universe is starting to respond. That might be the, uh, the good news here. Okay, but there is some sort of element of good news and or surprise for uh, Geminis who are either single or in a relationship through the Thanksgiving weekend. This Ace of Wands here represents fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. In your shadow, you have the Emperor. So no matter what's going on here with you or your relationships, you're going to be the one that's in control. All right? That's all I'm going to say about that Emperor. You are in control. So uh, there's no power moves or any power plays or anything like that. So, you know, the focus is primarily on keeping your energies under wraps as opposed to trying to keep other people's energies under wrap. This card here represents uh, Aries, Emperor. Um, Gem oh, yeah, Emperor <laughs> represents Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I'm sorry. Lost my little train of thought there for a hot second. All right, so uh, this is what I have for you in the general. Uh, you do have the Six of Cups here. Now, just because the Six of Cups normally uh, is the card that represents uh, issues or things from people from your past... It's still a card is uh, representing an even number of cups, so it's still representing love and romance. So it still could be for those singles who are looking to attach with someone, and then it mirrors the King of Pentacles as well. All right, so let's see what the status um, wants to say. First card and message for you, Gemini, is uh, Denial. This isn't what you're looking for, but you are ignoring the facts. All right. That might be a message for somebody. This one here says cheater. Don't expect this one to settle down for you. Wow. Third one here for you is <laughs> judgmental. Your expectations won't allow you to see this for what it could be. Wow. We have judgment. And your shadow energy here is uh, cutthroat. It is what it is. It's not what it's not. Oh, okay. These are some tough messages here for you, Gemini. But this is what I have. Take what's necessary and what resonates. And leave the rest alone. Um, have a great week ahead. Happy Thanksgiving once again. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.